Welcome back. We are here on Ethereum looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, April 30th, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to follow my trades over here at Ethereum. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we continue to drop even lower and lower. So we did rally a little bit today and then gave most of those gains back. We're still in this uh, downward channel and uh, rallies up towards the 20 exponential up here at 91.30 will mostly be sold into. Technicals are all bearish at this current stage, but we are approaching oversold conditions. So we could see a rally up towards the 20 or probably 50 before breaking down again. We are basically in a downtrend and uh, rallies will most likely be sold into. So let's look at oil. So oil has rallied up towards uh, $64.88 uh, at this point, and we are running into the top of the bullish band, and therefore we're also pulling back a little bit. We are uh, technically negative, all of them are very bullish, and at this current stage, it looks like we are going to grind our way up towards the 67, which is the previous high, so over here, and there we'll most likely find a major resistance or a pullback. If we were to pull back from here, then the... 20 exponential and the 50 down here at 62 will most likely offer major support. So let's look at natural gas. So natural gas has finally pulled back after this massive rally here. We created a shooting star yesterday and now we are, it looks like we're turning around and heading back toward the 20 exponential down here at the 2.7619. If you look at technical indicators, they are all turning around. Some of them are still bullish. MACD is still bullish. Uh, the Stochastic is bearish. The CCI is still bullish. And the RSI is becoming bearish at this current stage. But after a rally like this, there will be pull, there will be pullbacks. But it doesn't mean that we'll fall apart. But we need to break the 50 and the 200 moving average in order to go back towards these previous lows. And we'll probably find major resistance at the 20 exponential or probably the middle of the bullish band when these move in this same direction towards the upside. So uh, yes, uh, rallies at this current stage uh, will most likely be, uh, will find a major resistance here at the $3. So let's look at copper. So copper uh, also here is finding major resistant. Uh, if we get another red candlestick here tomorrow, that could mean that we'll fall back towards support down here at the 20 exponential. That's at uh, 4.2645. Uh, Break below that, opens the door to the 50 at the 4.1. Technical indicators, they are all turning around and we are on the edge of being our bot. So it is about time for this to basically pull back and you'll most likely find buyers at these 50 uh, at these moving averages. So let's look at uh, gold. So gold has basically been all over the place. We did fall quite aggressively down towards the seven, uh, 1754 before rallying and then settling at 1760. So technical indicators are turning around. So MACD is still in bullish territory, but it is about to cross the signal line. Sarcastic is bearish, CCI is bearish, and also the RSI is bearish. So we could drop towards the 50 moving average down here at 1744, break below that, open the door to 1780, and probably to the very lows here at 1683. Rallies from here will, uh, will most likely run into resistance up here at 1800. So let's look at silver. So silver, very similar thing here. We are about to have a crossing of the 20 and the 50 moving average, which should be a, um, should be a bullish shine. We did fall all the way down to where the bottom of the bullish band, rallied again, but still we're down at 0.20%, give or take. So Taking indicators, MACD is still bullish. Otherwise, other indicators are bearish at this point. Break below the 20 exponential, opens the door to the 200, down here 25.40, and then towards the 24.62. And then to the upside, we have 26.6. It will most likely be major resistant. So let's look at platinum. 
So as you can see, we did fall all the way towards the bottom. It's just moving sideways, kind of gradual to the upside, but more technically sideways at this current stage. So rallying up towards the top of the bullish band to the bottom, up to the bullish band to the bottom, that is technically what Platinum is doing at this current stage. So if you were just waiting until this fell towards the bottom in order to buy it, and uh, at this point, we're trading just above the 50 moving average. Technically, we just do favor the downside. So we could see this, have another red candlestick here tomorrow, and then really test the bottom before going back to the upside. So let's look at Pallium. So Pallium continues to rally. We're, we're trading at the 2,953 at this current stage. We are overbought at 71. Uh, technical indicators are leveling off. So we could see a pullback towards the 20 exponential at 2.2279 before going higher. 3,000 will most likely be the target here. So we could target that and then have a pullback. There is, yes, very risky to buy it here as we have been rallying significantly from this uh, from this rally here and a pullback is needed at this point in order to to buy into this so let's look at aluminium so aluminium is reaching even further but now it looks like we're creating a shooting star here we get a red candlestick here tomorrow then we could see this drop towards the uh, back to support at the uh, 2302. Technical units are some of them turned around. Stochastic is becoming bearish. Thus, the MACD is bullish, the CGI is bullish, and the RSI is also bullish. We're at 70, approaching the um, overbought conditions. And uh, this has been behaving like it's been rallying towards the top, broken down, rally, broke down, rally, broke down. And so a pullback at this point uh, have been buying opportunities. So let's look at nickel. So nickel uh, did pull back as expected. We're getting fairly over, uh, over ahead of ourselves. We are way outside of the bullish band here. So pull back towards the 50. If the 50 basically acts as uh, resist the support, then that could be a really good indication that we are about to turn around here and head back to the upside. If we break below the 50, then that only means that we could drop all the way down to the 200 moving average again. If you look at technical indicators, the MACD is still bullish, the CCI is flat, uh, the stochastic is flat, CCI is bullish, and the RSI is technically flat or bearish at this current stage. So let's look at sugar. So sugar has really dropped today, as was also expected. We fell towards the 20 exponential and then rallied, but this is probably not the end of this drop, as we can see that the technical are all turning around. Sarcastic, CCI, RSI are all bearish, while the MACD is leveling off here. It will most likely cross the signal line in the next uh, day or two, indicating that this move will continue at least towards the 20 exponential, probably the 50 if that breaks, then we could drop all the way back towards these previous lows. But if you look at, for example, the Fibonacci retracements for this, we can see that the 50 is right here at 0 0.16 and the the 61.8 is down here at 0 0.1589 and that will most likely be where this will turn around so let's look at cotton so cotton very similar we had this massive rally here got very uh overstretched and then we're pulling back towards support at the 50 moving average if we find support here or stabilize here, that could mean that we'll turn around and head back towards the highs. Technical indicators are all turning around and momentum is to the downside at this current stage. So let's look at Kokoa. So Kokoa did rally, uh, actually really good rally towards the upside, got towards a 2.5 and then gave most of those gains back. Technical indicators are favoring the upside at this point, except for the stochastic, which is bearish. Otherwise, all other indicators are bullish. If we, we are trading above the 200 moving average, and uh, if we get another green candlestick here tomorrow, then we could head towards these previous highs, which is at 2.660. Break below here could open the door all the way back towards 2.322. So let's look at wheat. 
So weed um, is still really bullish. So we had this really, really uh, nice rally all the way from the very bottom of uh, where we found support down here at the 200 moving average at the 592. And we rallied all the way up to 770, uh, 71 in just, well, a month. And that is a, an amazing rally uh, for, for weed. Then we got way up ahead of ourselves. We got significantly oversold, overbought and overstretched here in the bullish band pullback. And today we rallied again. If you look at technical indicators, they are fairly mixed. MACD is bullish. Stochastic is bearish. The CCI is bullish, but it's becoming bearish. And the RSI is flat. So it is unclear whether or not we are going to fall back towards support, which should be the previous highs here, which is uh, give or take at 683 and just above the 20 exponential. So we could drop towards this point and then continue rallying. If we look at the Fibonacci retracements for this, we can see that we have the 50 Fibonacci retracements right at that point. So 683 could be where this drops down and then continues to rally to the upside. But at this point, it's a waiting game to see where this basically goes. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos, and you're welcome to follow our trades over here at eTro. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.